Every year, millions of people visit Myrtle Beach, and most of them will make one of these mistakes and not have as good of a trip because of it. So don't be like those people and learn about the top 10 things not to do while visiting Myrtle Beach. And later in the video, I'm going to share with you a shocking thing that you have to learn about. Starting off this list is number 10, and that is simply don't sleep in. Now, I don't mean wake up early every single day, but if you are staying along the beach or close enough to walk to it, then I highly recommend catching a morning sunrise. Seeing the sun slowly appear out of the water off in the distance is simply breathtaking. And better yet, if you are staying along the beach, you can enjoy this beautiful sight and the comfort of your PJs while you sit on your balcony or in your room. Travel tip. Myrtle Beach offers so many great things to see and do. While I do not recommend getting up before the sun every single day, I do recommend getting an early start so you can maximize the time that you're going to have while you're in the Grand Strand. Number 9. Don't leave valuables behind. While Myrtle Beach is rather a safe place, and I take my family of four there a few times each year, it's always good to be careful. So I always recommend bringing as few valuables as you can to the beach. You'll need stuff like your car keys, cell phone, wallet, or purse, or your hotel key. But sadly, like any other beach out there, there are some people that do go through people's belongings and steal things. So I recommend just be on the lookout and just be extra careful. My wife always has her waterproof case for her phone, and I keep our room key in my zipper pocket with some money. Number 8. Don't just stay anywhere. Myrtle Beach has so many different hotels and resorts for you to enjoy. Some are great, and some are not. For example, let's play a quick game. Would you rather stay at this place with a review like this or a place that has a much better review like this one? Trust me, I found out the hard way a few times now, pictures on these hotel websites always makes things seem a little bit nicer than what they really are. Usually that is the case. This is why I recommend checking out the Google reviews of the places before you book there. I cannot recommend enough clicking the recent reviews for the hotel that you're interested in because you're going to find out what people have said about this place in the last few days, weeks, or even months. This usually will tell you a lot about what you can expect when you stay there. Number 7. Now let's be honest, rules usually aren't the most fun things to follow, but they are designed to keep people and the property safe. So when you're in Myrtle Beach, it's always good to check out the beach or the pool rules. For example, dogs are not allowed on the beach from May 15th through September 15th from 9am to 5pm. Now the other months throughout the year, dogs are allowed on the beach at any time. Also, did you know that thong swimsuits are not allowed on any beach in Myrtle? Also, it's illegal to have a tent on the beach, even if it's small, from Memorial Day to Labor Day. It's also illegal to have a drink on the beach, so soft drinks only. But with that said, it's going to be hot, so I recommend grabbing as much bottled water as you can because you need the liquids inside of you. And finally, you're not allowed to shoot fireworks off on the beach, now this might seem a little bit odd since you're going to notice there's fireworks stores all over. But if you do it on the beach, watch out because you're going to get caught. Number 6. Don't not visit Barefoot Landing. Now what I mean by this is that if you're looking for a relaxing place to walk around, grab a great bite to eat and or drinks, then you'll want to check out Barefoot Landing. This outdoor entertainment complex is located around 20 minutes from the heart of Myrtle Beach, but it's so worth it. You're going to love the laid back atmosphere and all the cute shops to browse through. Travel tip. If you're visiting with kids, then you have to take them to this awesome playground, which is located right inside of Barefoot Landing. Now a great thing about this place is it's free to just walk around and enjoy and you do not have to pay for parking either. Number 5. Do not forget to tip. 
Myrtle Beach is a hospitality driven city and you'll notice that when you visit. So when you're enjoying a nice meal or if you ask for room service, it's always encouraged to leave a tip. Hard work really does pay off and you'll notice that most of the workers that you interact with while you're enjoying your vacation really do work hard and want to make your experience the best possible. Number four, don't swim near the piers. I must admit, I used to do this 10 or so years ago because I always liked being near the piers. But it makes total sense. Did you know that the most common place sharks are spotted in Myrtle Beach is near the piers? And the main reason why that is is simply because of the people fishing off the piers and they throw away their scrap pieces of fish back into the water. This is why sharks enjoy hanging out near piers and this is why myself, Brandon, does not. Number three, don't pass up on having dinner down in Myrtle's Inlet. If you've never visited Myrtle's Inlet before, then you are in for a real treat. And on the flip side, if you have visited this charming area, then you know exactly what I mean. Myrtle's Inlet is beautiful and is filled with some of the best restaurants and bars in the area. As you can see, there's a little stretch of restaurants that offer some of the best food that you're going to find along the Grand Strand. With notable restaurants like the Claw House, Dead Dog Saloon, J. Peter's Grill and Bar, and the Drunken Jack's Restaurant and Lounge. If you're hungry, I always recommend going to Merle's Inlet at least one time during your stay. Travel Tip while you're down at Merle's Inlet enjoying some great food, don't pass up an opportunity to walk out on the Marsh Walk. This boardwalk offers amazing photo opportunities and is a great place to take in the beauty of this area, especially during the sunsets. Now this one is very, very important and we just made the mistake on this because we had no idea and now that's what I'm telling you so you don't make the same mistake that we did. Number two, do not visit during bike weeks, unless you're a biker and you love bikes. There are three main weekends for bike weeks in the Myrtle Beach area, and they all happen to be weekends in May. And again, if you love motorcycles, then this would be a great time for you to visit. But my only issue with these events is that Ocean Boulevard is blocked off going northbound due to all the biker traffic. Not to mention, but there are only a handful of roads that run into Ocean Boulevard that are open. I recommend checking out the specific dates in May for the bike weeks before you visit. Travel tip. If you still want to visit Myrtle Beach during bike week, then I recommend staying in Surfside or North Myrtle Beach. If you are enjoying the video and finding it helpful in any way, then all I ask that you do is please take one second to give it a like. That is by far the best way you can help support my channel, Travel Guides USA, and I really do appreciate each one. Now it's time for the number one thing not to do when you're in Myrtle. And that would be, do not stay in Myrtle. Now you're probably thinking, what the heck is this guy talking about? So hear me out. You're going to find the best places to stay in the Myrtle Beach area aren't even along the main Myrtle Beach Strip. This is why I recommend staying in North Myrtle Beach or Surfside when you do come visit the area. You're going to find great hotels, resorts, condos, and vacation rentals in North Myrtle Beach. And the beaches in this area honestly are nicer overall than the ones you're going to find along the main strip in Myrtle. North Myrtle Beach is also quieter overall than Myrtle. With that being said, just south of Myrtle Beach, you're going to find Surfside Beach, and this is by far my favorite area to stay at. From the beaches to all the colorful homes and buildings, you just feel like you're somewhere beachy. While you're not going to find a lot of hotels or even skyrise condos along Surfside Beach, this beautiful area does offer a ton of vacation rentals and homes to choose from. Travel tip. If you do want to stay along the Myrtle Beach Strip, then I recommend staying at one of the newer resorts or hotels and those that offer over a 4 star rating on Google. Speaking of places to stay in Myrtle Beach, in the showcase video at the bottom of your screen, you are going to learn about the best places to stay in the Myrtle Beach area, so do not miss out on that video. So when is your trip to Myrtle Beach and what are you looking forward to the most? Be sure to let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to smile today, be adventurous, and never stop traveling.